Hi guys! So I'm back with another random, totally um, out of the blue unboxing. So this came today and I'm so happy because this is my custom order from Yurt Craft. So my favorite animal in the world is the Okapi. What is the Okapi, you ask? Well, here it is. So a couple of years ago, I was in the zoo and I was doing sort of a behind the scenes tour and we drove behind one of the exhibits which held animals from the Congo exhibit and I saw this animal peeking out from behind this fence. And of course, being a crazy animal person that I am, I was like, stop the cart, I'm getting out. So I get out and I walk over and in this holding pen is this adorable, adorable animal. It was about the height of my horse. It had, you know, this odd little body and this tiny, tiny little muzzle. And he was so curious, he wanted to see us, came up, sniffed our hands through the fences and like played around with us and followed us around while we were looking at it. And ever since then, I've become a little obsessed. So this is my favorite animal in the world. This is the Okapi John Stoney, otherwise known as plain old Okapi. It looks kind of like a cross between a zebra and a giraffe. They are absolutely adorable and they are the sweetest, friendliest little thing. And um, these animals are endangered. They're in many of the zoos today, but they are severely endangered in their actual home territory. So they are found usually in the Democratic Republic of Congo. I am a big advocate of Okapi conservation. Uh, a lot of my money donations at the end of the year go to the Okapi conservation project. The Okapi conservation um, project is in charge of the uh, reservation in the Democratic Republic of Congo in Epulu. And they run a program where they have rangers that take care of the population there and they protect them. I will link information below if you're interested. So what is the Okapi? It's kind of this weird half zebra, half giraffe looking thing, isn't it? You can't really even classify it. It's got these big donkey ears and it's like <laughs> striped legs. I mean, it just looks like thrown together. It's so bizarre and so, so cute. Oh. And I decided that, hey, if I could find a fabric that had Okapis on it, I would be over the moon. So I searched and of course there were a few, but they weren't quite what I was looking for. I was looking for something pretty, not really something weird or like, you know, blocked or, you know, just the f just stick a no copy on there and call it no copy fabric. So what happened was I was just Googling around for fun and I happened to come across this amazing, amazing fabric from a company called Ekino by this Japanese um, designer, Etsuko Furuya. I hope I'm not butchering that name. But Etsuko Furuya put out this wonderful fabric for the Ekino line in 20... Hmm, I think this was a 2012 or 2013. And it had okapis on it. It had actually a lot of African animals, but once I saw it, I fell in love with it. I stocked this fabric and finally found it. So I went ahead and I contacted Lisa, who I bought lots of pads from because 
every week, literally every week, or actually for a while, it was every day, she had a new fabric that I had to have. Well, so I've tried a lot of her sizes and I love them, love them all. So I decided that if I was going to have one person to make my custom pads, she would be it. So I contacted her, asked her, and we talked about it. And after buying the fabric, getting it shipped from Japan, they arrived. Then I proceeded to send it to her, pre-washed, pre-shrunk, and she made these amazing, amazing pads. I'm gonna go over them. I'm gonna just start over here. This is my largest. It's a 12.5 inch and it's a heavy um, pad with hidden PUL. And it is backed in the same fabric. But, you know, it's the fabric, it's it's gotten softer actually since I had it in my hands, but it's a sort of like a linen fabric. I have to say that I'm actually kind of worried about using this because it's so pretty. I don't think, I don't think I might actually use it. <laughs> I just stare at it. That's a 12.5 inch. Then comes a 10.5 inch. So there are two actually colorways. The colorway is the purple one and a cream one. They also came with a teal, like this sort of aqua blue, but I couldn't get my hands on those fabrics. But someday if I see them, I will snatch those up. So the this is the purple one. This is the 10.5. It's also a heavy. It's got hidden PUL. She backed it and she used one of the cheetah prints. So this actually, this print, um, this fabric has several of the African animals in it. So it has cheetahs, zebras, um, and the okapi. So that's 10.5 hidden PUL. Then we move on to three 9.25 inch pads. This one is in purple, a 9.25 inch heavy. And heavy as denoted by the four stars. And look, the baby cheetah, so cute. So this is also hidden PUL. Then these two, are both moderates and they're both 9.25. Look at that. Look at that old copy. Eating from the tree. And they're all hidden PUL. That's 9.25. And then we go into all my liners. I am obsessed with liners, so I did ask for three. I did request at least one eight, like one eight inch cream and one eight inch purple. And then I let her have the choice of whichever fabric had more to do the third liner. So she did it in cream because I had more of the cream fabric. And all of her liners are not PUL, but they're backed in fleece. Okay, so this was my random unboxing of my custom Yurtcraft pads. 
and also introduction for you to the Okapi Johnstoni if you didn't know it. <laughs> so thanks guys. I just wanted to show you that and tell you all about my favorite animal. And if you haven't gone to check out what Nokapi is, go check it out because they are so amazing. Um, yeah, I will link all the information um, for the Okapi Conservation uh, Project down below, as well as a little Okapi fact sheet, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. And then whatever else. And of course, your craft. I will put her Etsy down below. So thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys. Any questions, leave them below. Anything else you want to know, just shoot me a comment. If you like this, please thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tell others. Bye, guys. I'll see you real soon.